Was that happening in the future or right now? That was happening right now. But then, as, as we went forward, Was that happening then or right now? That's later on in the future. So the ayat travel from the future to the present, future to the present, sometimes past to present. But these ayat are speaking about current events in the past. Kanu. I need you to understand this. Allah is not saying disbelievers make fun of believers. He's saying disbelievers used to. There's no doubt those who engaged in crime used to poke fun at, used to laugh away at those who believed. So how is he talking about it? As though it's something in the past. The way this is, is situated, what was mentioned right before the people of Jannah? So the way it's situated in its balagha, it illustrates the people are in Jannah, they're enjoying all this drink, and a memory passes in their mind. Remember when they used to make fun of us? Remember those who were criminals used to make fun of those who believed they used to laugh at us? وَإِذَا مَرُّوا بِهِمْ يَتَغَامَزُونَ And when they would pass by them, they would wink at each other. They would, you know, غَمْز in Arabic is to make gestures with your eyes. And one of the worst insults you can do to somebody even nowadays is roll your eyes at them, right? They're talking to you and you're like, you know, you, you could do a lot with your eyes. You could do a lot with your eyes. So you, you, a bunch of you are walking by, right? And there's a Muslim over there. And what do you do? <laughs> you know, you're doing all this just with your eyes. Just with your eyes. You're poking insults at them. So Allah even captures that much of their crime. The worst of their crimes He captured. He illustrated but even the crimes of the kafir against the believer, not that he kills them. Right? But why are they taking revenge from the believers? Why are they throwing them in pits made of fire? Why are they torturing them? Why are they killing them? Those are big crimes. Here, what crime has Allah illustrated? Just the way they look at them. Just the way they look at them. When they pass by them, meaning when the believers pass by the disbelievers, the believers wink, they make eye gestures to insult them. And the other way around, when the disbelievers pass by the believers, they make comments with their eyes. The way they look at them, the insulting way and the ridiculing way in which they look at them. Then, وَإِذَنْ قَلَبُوا إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِمْ Now that they're done poking fun at the believers, they return to their families. And we will find this a consistent theme Allah talks about, returning to the family. These, these uh, kuffar, they return to their families. For example, in Surah Al-Qiyamah, ثُمَّ ذَهَبَ إِلَىٰ أَهْلِهِ يتمطى. Right? He returns to his family all happy. I, you know, you know how I insulted those Muslims today? Man, these guys are funny. These guys, are, they look so funny. Did that, And we, we were just standing there. And man, did we make a fool of them. And so they, they have this, they enjoy making fun. So what they do is when they return to their family, they return full of joy. Fakihin comes from, from fakiha, which is a fruit. So they, they enjoyed poking fun at the believers so much, it's like they can taste the fruit in their mouth. Oh my God, that was awesome. That was so funny. And so the scholars comment, Fakihin, Mu'jibina, Mutalazidin. They're so happy they can taste the joy of insulting the believers. And they go share these stories about how they made fun of Muslims with their families. You know, there's this is a contrast. By the way, is this this is happening in dunya, right? But this is a memory of those who are in paradise looking back. But the reality, what happened in reality, we already read. Yawma yafirrul mar'u. That same guy who went to his home running happy, hey, look who I made fun of. Is he going to be running towards that family or running away from them when the time comes? He's running away from those same people. The reality has completely reversed. But right now, it's, it's the way it is. So these believers think back and they, you know, they, they recall when they used to poke fun. And even when they would see them, this implies kind of a tab'i, the distance. So these non-Muslims, those who poke fun are here, the Muslims are over there. وَإِذَا رَأَوْهُمْ قَالُوا إِنَّ هَا When they saw them, they said, these people, man, they're so confused, they're so lost. These are the truly lost. You know what they're, they want this paradise. That's why they're acting like this. They do their day and night, they're trying to spread this message. They stick around this man, who we think is, in, we're pretty sure he's insane, ma'adullah. They're lost. Look at these poor people. So they look at them with pity even. They have pity for the Muslim. I feel sorry for you, man. That's what they, their attitude towards the Muslim. You'll find people like this even today. Even today, you'll find people that look at the Muslims and say, oh man, I just feel so bad for you, man. Let me help you out. Let me give you some, some other religion to follow. There's pity for the Muslim. Because what foolish religion are you following? Now Allah says, It's so incredible that Allah says this. 
He's, this, is, this ayah has been interpreted in two very different ways. And both of them are pow very powerful. Allahu A'lam, Allah means both. He, the literal meaning is, and they had not been sent upon them as guardians. Meaning these disbelievers were not sent to watch over the believers. What are you so worried about that they're lost or not lost? Or, you know, you, you know what they, how they live and what they aspire towards? What's in any of your business you're so concerned that they're lost? So this is one interpretation. This has been uh, uh, attributed by many. But another is actually that this is a continuation of what the Fujar say. And that, or the, uh, the Mujrimun say. And that completely changes the taste of these words. Let me explain to you how. These, the, what this basically means is they're looking at the, the Muslims and they say, look at, look at how they're lost. And they say, these Muslims, they haven't been sent to the society to guard over them. Why are they commenting on who, who, who cheats how much in the scales? Why are they telling us don't bury the baby daughter? Why are they getting up in our business? Who made them in charge? Who made them guard over our affairs? Why are they acting like they're so watchful over our affairs? So they, they have this criticism of the Muslims that they are correcting the evils of society, getting into the society's business. But you know, in the previous surah, Allah has already told us, the Muslims are not watchful over you. You already have someone watchful over you. Inna alaykum the hafizin. Their criticism is these Muslims are the hafizin. No, 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 we're not the hafizin. You already have hafizin. Kiram and katibin, ya'lamuna ma ta'falun. You know, you have noble writers, they know exactly what you're doing. We don't have to keep record or watch over what you're doing. Allah has already put that mechanism in place, subhanAllah. فَالْيَوْمَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَضْحَكُونَ Then on that day, now this, the scene goes back to the future. Again to the, the day of judgment. Then on that day, as a result, those who believed will be poking fun and be laughing at the kuffar. مِنَ الْكُفَّارِ يَضْحَكُونَ Now we said, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ أَجْرَمُوا Not إِنَّ الَّذِينَ we didn't find the kuffar before we found those who committed the crimes. And the crimes have been listed before. The crimes have been listed. Remember they poked fun at the ayat, called them asatirul awwaleen, did it tatfif al-mizan, did a few things that were listed. So they were the criminals. On the day of judgment, the believers will not only be laughing at these criminals, they will be laughing at what? All kuffar, whether they did this or not. So long as they disbelieve, they will be the object of ridicule. In Surah Al-Baqarah we find, زُيِّنَ لِلَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا وَيَسْخَرُونَ مِنَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا Worldly life was beautified for those who disbelieve. And they poke fun at those who, do, those who believe. وَالَّذِينَ اتَّقَوْ فَوْقَهُمْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ And those who had taqwa, they'll be above them on the day of resurrection. The, the roles have been reversed. The same reversal of roles applies here. All kuffar, they will be poking fun at them. عَلَى الْأَرَائِكِ يَنْظُرُونَ Second time. They will be on these high couches. Reclining, relaxing, looking around, having full view. Now, what are they, before what were they looking at? Naeem, all the blessings. What are they looking at now? They're looking at the people that are making them laugh. Who's making them laugh? The kuffar. They're looking at the disbelievers. They don't even have to look down. They can relax, recline back, and they can still see the disbelievers. And now those disbelievers are burning, and they're recalling... Didn't you find our whole thing about hellfire funny before? I don't see you laughing down there. Because it sounds looks pretty funny now, actually, now that you think of it. So now the disbelievers are getting their revenge. The insults that were hurled at them are being hurled back at the disbelievers. Look at how the surah ends. Thawab in Arabic is to get a good salary. To do good work and to get good back. Have those who disbelieve been paid a good salary for what, everything they used to do? Sarcasm from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Perhaps even sarcasm from those who are in the paradise. They're looking at those burning down below who are screaming, Hey, we're Quraysh. We're from you. Can you help us out here? Throw us a drink or something. And they act like they don't even hear them. They say to each other, I wonder if the disbelievers got paid what they deserved based on what they did. Adding insult to injury, subhanAllah. So, have the disbelievers been, been dealt? Have they been given in full, great pay, great pay, great compensation, sarcasm, over what they used to do? Final, a little bit of comment over يَفْعَلُونَ as opposed to يَعْمَلُونَ. يَعْمَلُونَ means to do an act consciously, to think about it and do it. يَفْعَلُونَ, you don't even think about it. Why يَفْعَلُونَ? Because these fujar, do they think any more about the consequences of their actions? No. The fujar, does, they don't think. So they don't do amal even. What do they do? They do fi'l. It's thoughtless action. 
they're thoughtless in their in their in their disbelief. Finally, we we, we conclude in uh, tying the end of the surah with its beginning. Uh, we we also conclude with the comment of Ibn al Jawzi, rahimahullah. Juzi al kuffaru fil akhirati bima kanu yafalunahu bil mu'minin min al sikhriya wal istihza. Naam. Have they been given? These people, have they been given what they deserved when they made fun of the believers, when they made fun of the ayat? Have they been given what they deserved? Absolutely, na'am. So he ends with that, that word. We began in the, we started in the beginning with the ayah, waylu lil mutaffifin. Ultimate destruction falls upon those who make a little bit of profit by giving people less or taking back a little more. This is the mutaffifin. And at the end, what does Allah say? What, what do they want? Money in the end. They wanted some profit. Allah says, did they get a good compensation because of what they used to do at the end? You see how they're tied together? The conclusion, the beginning of the surah and its conclusion, subhanAllah. So, the, so how the surah begins, it wraps itself around and comes to its conclusion. InshaAllah ta'ala, we begin our study of Surah Al-Inshiqaq next week. SubhanAllah, Allahumma wa bihamdik. Nashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu alaykum. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.